Today, I'm leaving London and taking the train to Dis, where I'll be reuniting with the English side of my family. My granddad will be taking me on a tour around Suffolk to many notable places, including Ed Sheeran's Castle on the Hill. After which, I'll begin behind the wheel of the camper van to prepare for the next leg of our journey in episode 4, which doesn't exactly go smoothly. Stick around to see more. Hope you enjoy. morning I am now leaving the generator and I'm going to be heading up to Dis uh, by a train but the problem is that first I need to sort out all of the paper notes getting converted to plastic somewhere first so I'm going to go and hunt around for that before I can get my train. Assuming I can find somewhere early enough there's a train I think at 9 something but if I miss that it'll be the 10 15 or something which wouldn't be ideal but it's kind of nice not having a set plan and just being able to do everything on the fly like this the usefulness of that rail pass as long as it actually works. It'll be the first time that I'm actually trying it. The options there, you know, apparently you can exchange them at certain banks, but all the banks don't open until 9 or 9.30. There are also a few currency exchange locations, which my feeling is that they're gonna charge for it. I can ask you though, right? It's the worst that could happen if I ask. I'm planning on the tube during rush hour with a bag this size is a pain. Now unfortunately there's no filming allowed inside the bank. However, I have made a fairly accurate reconstruction of the events. Excuse me. I've got all this old paper money that I wanted to know if I could exchange it for some of the new plastic stuff. Very well. Now I'm here at Liverpool Street Station. I'm going to try and work out which of all of them many many trains I'm supposed to be on. But now I get to find out whether or not this rail pass thing works properly. Okay, bear with. Nope. Doesn't look like it's working. Turns out that the rail pass apparently just doesn't work through the scanners ever accurately. Um, the conductor though said that he can let me on when the train is ready to board. It looks like my train's waiting into Dis at 11.25, so I should message the family, let them all know that I'm on my way. I suppose it means that this is the end of my London saga. Farewell London, it's been fun. Traveling by train. Oh, Granite's here. Look who that is! <laughs> hey, Granite. How are you? How are you? I hadn't seen my granddad in eight years. Getting to catch up with him was absolutely amazing. He then took me on a short tour around Dis. That's Dis Mir, huh? No way, no way, no way. That's by Reagan. Dis Mir. Not Dis over here, Dis Mir. Apparently, as a baby, I came here to feed the ducks. Granny then took me to his favourite fish and chip place in Dis. We'll have a large garden chips, please. Well, we had our lunch, we sat by the river and saw some wild deer walk past. We then went on a tour of some of the key locations in Suffolk, where Granny would share stories about his childhood, my father's childhood, and my childhood. Oh, 
coach truck because her dad was the bus driver. That's where we met. She used to work in that shop in front there. I first knew her and then she moved and she used to work in the bikers here. He also took me to White House Farm, which was apparently my first home. Then after a trip down memory lane, we went to Laxfield, which is where Granite currently lives. And went on a short walk around the town. Yeah. King's Head, also known as Low House. Well, fairly late last night, got in at Allison's and went to sleep. And now me and Grandad are off for a little tour to see Framlingham Castle, which is also known as Ed Sheeran's Castle on the Hill. These little windy roads are really, really cool. Yesterday, Grandad was showing me also where my dad took his first car off the road. Ed Sheeran's house there. Hmm. And that castle, that one up there? That's Framlingham Castle, aka the castle on the hill from Ed Sheeran's song. Got me a bit of an idea now. There we go. <laughs> How does the song go? The castle on the hill? Oh, we don't know. You don't know? <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> I didn't know who Ed Sheeran was until a long while after other people. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. So that was the famous Castle on the Hill from the Ed Sheeran song. I have to question his um, his meaning when he says that they drive 90 down these country lanes because some of them are really little tiny windy roads. So that's us just stopped in Woodbridge now. Beans on toast for lunch. British classic. And then we're going to go for a nice walk. Yeah, I actually quite like the camper van. It's quite nice. This is what we're going to be in when we do the Dartmoor and Cardiff trip. So it'd be kind of a good chance to get a go uh, driving around in a little kitchenette and stuff like that, a little refrigerator, a couple of beds and stuff. Yeah, it's not bad. Quite like it. My granddad is an avid bird watcher. Little does he realize, I too know a few things about birds. Ducks. We then took a stroll down to the tide mill. Very impromptu tour we're having now of the old water mill. Technically it's closed for the season, but the guy was passing by and just let us in to have a look. They just opened up the, the sluices, I think he said, and now they've got the mill actually turning. So this old mill that was used to grind up all the flour, they're now using it to charge up their battery packs. <laughs> Modern problems, old-fashioned solutions. Do you reckon we're lost here? Yeah? Yep. Yep. I think we're lost. Can't see the van anymore. Can't see the van. We're lost. <laughs> Wandering the streets of Woodbridge, what'll ever happen? We might get mugged by some hoodlums. <laughs> That's good luck. We just had a bit of a walk down downtown Woodbridge. The wind and rain started to come out and now we've finished our walk and it looks like it stopped again. By another historic site we just passed. It was uh, we've just gone through Bodzi, and that back there was the Bodzi radar tower, which is where they invented radar. We thus reached the end of our tour and decided to stop and have a cup of coffee and just enjoy the English weather. 
It was then my turn to have a go at driving the van. Now, I haven't driven a manual in a very long time. I haven't driven a camper van before, ever. And I've never driven on such small country lanes before. Naturally, I had to have two cameras on, just in case something went badly for the insurance. Despite being a little bit nervous, I'd say I completely nailed it. What a house on wheels! Alright, alright, alright. I think I'm getting the hang of it now. First there, is it? Oh, that's a silly place for a traffic cone. Why are there so many cars? The only thing that could make this more of a challenge is if I was driving in the dark. Eventually, though, we made it back to my Aunt Allison's house and had a huge family dinner where I got to meet many of my family I'd never met before. Ready to go tomorrow, yeah? Yes, yeah, you and Who's driving, me or you? Um, I'm going to drive through the little lanes. Yeah. I'll let you do on the motorway. <laughs> Whoa, before you click away, preview of episode 4 incoming.